Today we're learning how to make this nice slide in PowerPoint. Let's start from a blank slide and add a picture from Steve Jobs. Right click, format picture and make it transparent. Then we can see where we position the words. Add a text box and a word stay, font bewas neue, increase the font size by quite a lot and make it bold. Copy it a few times for the different words. Hungry, stay foolish. You can split the words if they are too long. So in this case, full and ish, we're going to split them. And then you want to position the words um, as good as possible with the face. So they match the face. The hungry sticks out quite a lot. So let's reduce the font size of hungry. You can really play around, make them larger or smaller. And just make sure that they kind of fit the image. Let's reduce full a little bit and then ish as well since it's the same word we want to keep them the same next we're going to add a rectangle on top of it all the way to the edge let's make it yellow so we can clearly see what we're doing select all the words in the background right click bring them to the front select the rectangle shape format merge shapes and then subtract now we've created a cutout of the letters in the shape and we can see through the shape so let's remove the transparency and make it white. Here you can really play around to make sure it matches perfectly. You can reduce the size if you want. You can increase it, fill the gaps up with white. I want to keep it rather large. So here you can see the Y from stay and hungry. They don't match. So copy the image and crop some part of the hair in this case. It doesn't really have to be the exact part. So something which resembles the colors. Let's add that over the Y's and shift that to the back. Now shift the image to the back as well. And this way we kind of fill it up. You can do it for the edges to refine it. Um, just don't go overboard. Right click format, add some brightness, reduce the brightness so it matches. And then also a soft edge to make it less clear. And this way you really can't see it what's happening there. That works for the edges. Right click on the shape and add a drop shadow. This really makes it stand out. And then let's preview what we have. Now you know how to make this nice quote in PowerPoint. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.